Hey guys, it's Alex, and uh, for this tutorial we're going to have a look at ambient occlusion and how to use it with textures. So uh, let's start off by making our scene. We're just going to make a plane just for the ground, and let's use a torus. Move it up by one unit, or 0.5 units. And six. Textured mode. Okay, so let's say we have this, and we want to have ambient occlusion, but we also want to have textures on there. So we're going to do the textures first. Let's uh, slap a blin on there and uh, checker. And for the ground, we'll use something simple like a Lambert and grid. And we will increase repeat to 10 and 10. Doesn't really matter, but looks better that way. So you can see it. And give it a render. Okay, that looks good. F um, for this you're going to need Mental Ray on. And if you don't have Mental Ray in this menu set, it, you can find it in Windows, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager. And you need to have Maya to MR.MML MLL loaded and on auto load if you wanted to load again. So we're going to keep this that looks good. I'm actually going to increase the resolution. Change this to a JPEG. Uh, name number extension. That doesn't matter, but uh, where are we here? Let's put it on HD 720. 1280 by 720. That looks better. Okay, so we're going to get a new camera and we're going to put it in the place where we want it. And I'm just uh, go resolution gate here. View camera settings resolution gate, and that's kind of where I want it. And yeah, that looks good. Um, for this ground texture, I'm actually going to make this gray so we can see what's going on with the ambient occlusion better. That's much better. Okay. Um. Another one, one thing I want to do, just for the hell of it, increase the subdivisions on that so it looks smoother. Okay, so now we can get into the rest of this. Uh, select the camera, and we're going to go to the channel box and lock all those in position. Um, for this, it's very important that you don't move your camera, and this is just, this makes it easier. And we're just going to go into the other camera here. So we're going to. <laughs> go back into this camera. We're going to render. And we are going to. Oops, click the render button again. Save this image as a desktop, on the desktop, as a test one, whatever you want to name it. And it's saved. Let's go on the desktop and have a look. There it is. Okay, um, now we're going to apply the ambient occlusion. Uh, material onto there as it loads up the hyper shade. Okay, um, mental ray. We're gonna get a blin. Actually, we can use a Lambert for this. And we're going to go mental ray, and we're gonna search for enemy occlusion. Here it is. And we're gonna middle mouse drag that onto Lambert and default. Now we need to uh, select everything here in the scene and assign material to selection. Now we're going to render it again. Oh, forgot to increase the samples so you can see all the pixels. Cancel that uh, and we can go into the attribute editor, Lambda 3, click the input button and increase that. I'm going to go 256 for samples. Enter. Get another render. And it's rendering. <laughs> Whoa. Getting there. 60%. 65. All right. 
Uh, okay, we need to save this as um, let's save it as ambient ammo CC. All right, so we can minimize out of that. Now we're going to start up Photoshop, and we're going to open test one wherever it is. Open. Um, that didn't really work, but pixel corrections. That's weird. Having problems with Photoshop, but that doesn't really affect this. Um, we're going to open up the second image down here as uh, ambient occlusion. Let's hope your Photoshop isn't isn't doing the same thing mine is. But we're gonna grab the uh, layer from ambient occlusion and bring it onto that one. And we're gonna make sure it's directly lined up. Now you want to change this to multiply. So you can see it without and with it on. Now you have ambient occlusion on your image. And you can also mess with the opacity depending on how much your brightness you want it to be. You could also do this from image adjustment brightness contrast. This should also work. Okay, I'm happy with that so we're just going to save this and that will be it. Final. JPEG, maximum quality, whatever, and that's final. And uh, apparently it fixed itself to the proportions. It's not a square anymore, so I just ignore that in Photoshop if you're having that problem, because it does come out fine. So that's uh, how to use ambient occlusion with textures. Um, this works for simple f single frames, unless you want to go through all your frames of your animation. Um, next tutorial I'll be going over how to use this with After Effects to use it on your actual animated scene so you don't have to um, do it in Photoshop and take every frame. So it, it'll just be using the same idea, multiplying the amb ambient occlusion over top of it. So that's it. Uh, have a good day guys.